Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movie 87 here, bringing you a special preview episode for Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. That is still one of the best intros to a game I have ever seen in my entire life. And I've played a game or two. Maybe three. That's about it, though. Regardless. This is the PC version of Trails of Cold Steel. Picked this up a while ago, actually. And this video will serve as a tech demo of sorts, showing it off. And also to update the LP itself. It's been almost two years now since my last episode of it. And thanks to all you guys who voted on my poll on Twitter the other day for it, uh, this LP will be starting brand new, actually. Um, I figure doing the PC version would be a better option anyway. Uh, easier for me uh, for me to record, for one thing. So I don't have to worry about digging out the Elgato and having all the wires around and all that. So, and plus also with the PC version, there are a host of new features available. Um, updated graphics, uh, turbo mode, uh, there's a ton of new voice lines, actually. Over 5,000 lines of dialogue that were uh, recorded just for the PC version here. So it just made sense to do it this way instead of me playing through the entire game again. or well, not the entire game, but a good chunk of the game to get back to where I was in the LP anyway. So, now I was doing some testing earlier today, before this recording, to uh, get audio levels balanced down and all that. Um, in my headset right now, it does sound a little bit loud, um, but thankfully, uh, like post recording, it should sound okay between myself, uh, the, the um, background music, the voices, and all that there. Um, so as of right now, I'm gonna show off a couple different things here. Uh, for right now, I'm in the uh, prologue of the game. Actually, this is right when you start the game here. I'm just gonna run around a little bit here, load up another save file to show off some other stuff there, and then. I have a lot of talking to do today, so uh, I'll explain what's been going on with this LP and all that fun stuff there. Um, but yeah, in comparison between this and the PS3 version, uh, this version is far and away better, especially if you have a, uh, a good enough gaming PC to run it. Thankfully, my brother and I do, so this game pretty much is in a full like, 1080p, 60 frames and all that. It looks <laughs> glorious to say the least. Let me go ahead and load up my other file here. And this file here is a little bit further in the game, not much further actually. 
Um, I don't want to spoil too much for the story and all that. Uh, there shouldn't really be much of that at all. Besides, like, some character names, a, a town name. Um, that's really about it, though. Now, as far as when this LP will be coming back around, um, I'm still doing Illusion of Gaia for right now, of course. Um, that still has a little ways to go. Not too much longer there, actually. Um, right now, I'm in Anchor Watt. I have to go through the rest of there. And then there's a few more areas after that. So I would say 10 episodes-ish, maybe 10 or 12, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, not too many at all. And then this LP will actually be starting shortly after that. Um, again, this one has been on hiatus for almost two years now. I think my last episode was back in... Hmm. Let me think. I heard that. He's bored. <laughs> um, but yeah, the last episode of this LP was back on, uh, I believe, July, uh, or June or July 11th of 2016. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, so yeah, this will, this will be following Illusion of Gaia. I'm not sure, like, how immediately after, like, the very next day after the LP's done, or if I'll take a day or two to make sure I'm prepared and all that, but we'll see how it goes. But regardless, this LP will finally be back, if I confirm 100%. I know I mentioned a while back in, like, October, <clears throat> excuse me, that it was coming back, um, and I actually had my save file all fully caught up there, ready to go, but then I had to wipe my PC and had to play through the entire game again, I just did not want to do it, so thankfully we picked up the PC version a while back, and obviously it made sure it ran well on our PC here, because yeah, I wouldn't record this on my actual laptop there. Um, this would be this, this is being recorded on our main PC here. It does a lot more powerful, able to handle it and all that. Um, so yeah, as far as an actual like date of when to um, if I, if I could give a rough estimate here, um, because you know how sporadic I am with uploads there, um, definitely sometime in March I would say. Um, the sooner the better, um, but I would definitely say March would be a good estimate there. And oh yeah, I can also show off some things here real quick. I don't have a whole lot available right now. This is at the very beginning of the game. Um, this is Reen. He's our main character here. You'll be seeing him a lot throughout the game. Um, now, I think with the PC version here, actually, um, it gives you all the DLC outright, actually. So actually, I sh shouldn't show that. There are some spoilers there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, just character names. Not a big deal, but regardless, yeah. Um, so yeah, show off status here. Yeah, everything here is just so unbelievably crisp and sharp. Um, I've had no issue with, like, any frame droppage or anything like that, like graphical glitches or whatever. So, from what I've seen, this is a very, very well-made port of the uh, PS3 and Vita versions there. Now, one thing I want to mention, too, real quick. As far as Trails of Cold Steel 2 goes, um, FYI, that comes out, uh, February 14th. Um, I can, I'll confirm it right now, I will be LPing that version of the game for sure. Um, I don't know when, um, maybe after Cold Steel 1, or I'll do an LP in between there, um, but regardless, that will be on the way at some point as well. I mean, I, I kinda have to. These games, both Cold Steel 1 and 2, are some of my favorite games of all time, for being so recent too, I can say that, which is ridiculous. I can even go as far as, as to say that Trails of Cold Steel 1 is actually, it tops Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete is my favorite game of all time. Which, that says a lot right there. If you guys know me, you know how much I love that game. And one more thing I wanted to mention to you before I call it a day. Um, I mentioned a, a little surprise on Twitter the other day for coming up on Friday here. Um, I will actually be streaming again. I will be going back to playing uh, Precipice of Darkness 3. Um, that'll be on Friday, probably at about 12.30 Eastern Time. Um, I'll, I'll put up a video at noon Eastern beforehand to give an announcement there for it. Um, I won't be I won't be uh, doing any speed runs or anything. Just uh, playing through the game again to rework my notes. I may have even said this a while back in, in an, uh, another video. I forget. But regardless, yeah, Friday, 12:30, streaming. Uh, my Twitch link is already in the description down below there. But I'll of course mention that anyway. Um, oh yeah, also. Um, of course, let me know how the video sounds and all that. I'm still kind of tinkering with audio and all that. And one thing, too, I don't know how I can get rid of it, if I even can. But um, in the background, you may hear some clicking. That's my keyboard there. 
Um, I don't know if there's a way to, like, mitigate that sound, or, like, if I play on a controller, you guys wouldn't be able to hear that, because it does pick it up on my headset here, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, real quick, this is the Town of Trista. You'll be here a good bit throughout the, actually, a lot of bits <laughs> throughout the game here as well. Um, just looks, it just looks so good. Let's look around here real quick. It just looks so incredibly sharp and detailed. Also, what's interesting to me is moving around with the mouse, actually, for the uh, main camera here. Um, that'll take a little getting used to. Oh, sorry, I'm in your way. I'll move. Okay, so I think that's everything there. Yeah, LP's coming back. Um, Precipice of Darkness 3 uh, streaming on Friday. Um, let me know how the audio and all that sounds. And I think that's about it. Um, as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate all the feedback on this. The more I get, the better, because I can take all of that and use it to make a better video for you guys. And with that, this has been Mr. Movies 7 signing off. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.